Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Stack Deck. I am here today with Elestrals. So I don't have a little tripod thing for my phone to sit on, so it's kind of sitting on the mag charger. So hopefully it's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna open up this artist collection and possibly this founder's pack. Now, first off, I got a couple of these little stuffed animal guys. So I'm gonna open this uh, this dolphin dude up, and I forgot exactly what this guy's called. It's like terrafin or something like that. Look at him; he's all soft. I like him. He looks really cool. He's got the little the fin right here. All right, so it, it does seem like there's a little bit of a uh, a metal rod right here to kind of hold the fin up. He's got one in his in there as well and one in there. So that's that is pretty good. So that's awesome. I'll magnet charge that back here. Alright, um, let's open up the founders pack first. So the rare cards you can get are I believe they're called stellars, and they are different colored versions. So if you look on like right here where that little green dude is. All right, so he's mostly green. He's got some dark gray on him. And then we'll take something like this. Well, you see this one's orange and black with a little bit of green on it. That's a stellar. It's basically a shiny Pokemon. All right, so this is a Founders Pack. It's got 27 game cards in it. And this is for kickstarting Elestrals. All right, here we go. That's the back of the cards, and those are all of the elements that they have in the game. We've got the Pandasin. I like this one, it's pretty cool. And I believe all of these are the Stellars as well. I might be wrong about that. We got Spark It. I like that. We got Viserys. I might say some of these wrong. This is my favorite card. This is Pandasin without the mask. And then we got Sorlet. It's a little piggy. Then we got Astrobit. It reminds me of like a mix of like Greninja. Or shiny Greninja and like a shadow from Kingdom Hearts. We got Circle the Sky. All right, Gonna back that up a little bit. We got Wormite. Kind of looks like a spinner rack a little bit. And I, I know he doesn't want these compared to Pokemon, but he is a Pokemon YouTuber. Oh, and by the way. These are kind of bent like hell. Like, you could see them standing there. It's kind of bent up. Voltem Pest. Kind of looks like a messed up Gaia the Dragon Warrior. Cracking. This one looks fucking cool. That looks like what I want to see if Thieves to... Should have been. Riceros. Ooh. I like this dude. We got Boom Bat. That's pretty cool. We got Dratea. Then we got Clydesdale. I like Clydesdale. He looks pretty cool. We got uh, Foamy. All right. Pretty nice. We got Tadpuff. We got Flurmine. Oh, this dude's kind of cute. It's like a little, like, winter squirrel otter looking thing. He's a frost spirit. Then we got Candelio. You know, I'm not so sure about the actual thing around his neck. But it looks cool. I have noticed that other than them being bent up, they do have this... They feel very weird, Rummagem. So they 
the feeling of these cards are a lot like the glossy uh, what are they called the glossy card sleeves it kind of feels like the the back of them or like the the ones that you get from like the Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds and stuff like where you got the like thin gold or silver ones that said Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds on them they feel similar to that they're really kind of slippery Brew Taqua all right cool um Volbeat or I mean Ignitar Ignitar Nectar Ignitar oh and this uh this little emblem up here I believe that is the Stellar emblem I was looking for that earlier Ursa Scout okay cool we got a little um, green bear that starts with Urs, so it doesn't start with Ursa. But uh, I would not be surprised if this fit into a Ursa family. We got Ursmog, okay. So both of these are beer, bears. Oh, so that one was one, this is two. So I'm guessing this is a second form. And then we got Ursir. All right, cool. Then we got Majersa. Sweet. I'm. You you can't say you don't want your cards to be compared to Pokemon when you're a PokeTuber, right? And then you also I don't think you could really say you don't want them to be Pokemon based if you made a couple of your bears called Ursas. Or Urs is when there are bears and Pokemon named Ursas, like Ursaring and Teddy Ursa, and whatever the Kung Fu one. I think that has Ursa in it. Hydrake. This dude looks freaking cool. He's all cute little dragon. I think he's the. Uh, let me see. I'm grabbing the starter deck. Of course, it's on him. I think he's like a pre of uh, this dude. Apparently, he's the rarest stellar. There's only 10 of them, apparently. Chill Lotto. Cool. He's a little, like, Axolotl made of frost. All right. I do love the art. So, that is pretty cool. Now, we got the artist collection. Sweet. That's a problem, right? Because they should have, uh... Sorry, these, these wrappers are actually stronger than the actual cards themselves. Alright, so... This one has 25 cards in it. The other one had 27. I don't want to be a hater, but... If you don't want your cards to bend, there's a reason... Most cards don't have a huge amount of cards in the pack. Like, that is crazy. For a plastic bag, like, you're going to get damage, especially when they set them like they did. Okay, so this is the artist pack. So these artist packs are... I, I think the artists that did the actual Elestros themselves picked their own, I guess, creatures or people creatures that they liked. And they did it in their style. Like a vault. This dude looks straight up like a Digimon. Like Werewolf Mon. I like it. Cracking. Heck yeah. Tectoros. Tectoros. Taurus. Okay. I can see that maybe it's hard to name your own little monsters and not have them sounding like Pokemon. Scavagem. Sakurasaur. Dude looks cool. Alright. Hydrake. Oh, so this is like the other dude. So there's the other dude. And then... Oh, man. The purple one is so much cuter. They're, they're both cute, though. I like them. Quackle. Cool. Then we got Sluggle. Sweet. Then we got... Necroff. 
It's like a little puppy. Reminds me of a little bit, little bit or whatever. Sprouter. That's cool. Looks like a tiny go goat. Carry on. I like that name. Kind of reminds me of a bug's life. Oh man, that dude looks cool. Lycoris. Fucking. This wind spirit dude. Looks badass. Uh, we got another Quackle. Okay, so we got two of them. And then Mouse to Sing. I think this fits like the Magic or the Pokemon. I believe that you could have four of each card. While like Yu-Gi-Oh, you could have three. You know, depending on the ban list. Vipero. Exeltar. This dude was on the cover. And then we got Sorlet. I believe the other one was red or blue, I mean. Either blue or white. Jolton. That's pretty cool. Sonicor. We got Zaptor. That Galaxia. It's like a the monstro from like Pinocchio great looking art cinder got the meter this is just some random bitch um she looks badass though i don't know if you is there any more humans in these cards or is like this the only one Equalinx. Hey, I got that name spot on. And Latagon. Alright, those are pretty cool. Um, I gotta say, my favorites. Equalinx is pretty cool. Um, I really do like that art right there. Uh, Vipero is really cool. Lemonade Stand. Right here is pretty cool. Carry on is awesome. Uh, Sprouter is pretty cool. And then, dude, like a vault is like the most badass looking guy. So those are my favorite out of the artist pack. I'm gonna show you my favorites out of the founder edition real quick. I do like Chillalotl, Hydrake. I don't really care much for the Ursas or Volbeat, but I do like uh, Flurmine. He's pretty cool. And then Cracking. One of the reasons why I had to uh, back this. Astrobit is pretty cool obviously pandason which is another reason why i had to back this and then spark it is pretty cool so those are the reasons i had to back it and these are my favorites out of the founders edition cards so i like it if you want to see more let me know and i will i've got one more stuffed animal to look at. I've got five of these booster packs, each with their own little uh, promo card. Uh, promo, I don't even remember what I call them. Uh, Starlights or whatever they are. On the front, I've also got five of the, all five starter decks. And I got a full booster box to go through. And I believe that's like 36 packs. Yep, 36 packs. And they have 10 cards on them, so. Hopefully they're not bent up. All right, guys. If you enjoy, let me know. Are you excited for Elastrals? Do you think it was a waste of money? And I will see you all next time. Deck out. Peace.